if somebody has a right to allege, he must prove in Islam or he should be punished. So for two years, if this story is being circulated and the mullah say so and so has done some such and such thing and they don't offer any proof, they are all just insulting people of which they have no right. So had there been an Islamic state, they would have been punished thoroughly because according to Islam, if somebody alleges somebody to have, to have uh, say, committed um, that, uh, what would you call it? Adultery or the other word? Fornication. Fornication. And he can't prove it. He would be lashed 80 times. This is Islam. It stands for the human respect. It stands for the respect of truth. It does not permit people to go on spreading rumors and lies about others. It, uh, uh, in fact, uh, dis discourages such behavior so strongly that no other religion in the world can claim equality to this. It doesn't even come near Islam. So, talking of an Islamic state, if somebody had alleged, he would be made to prove or will be punished. And these people for the last two years have been propagating against the Ahmadiyya community and nobody punishes them. And they are still permitted to go on and on. So this is the most un-Islamic state and most un-Islamic state of affairs.